Glutamate is a neurotransmitter that's abundant in your nervous system. It is typically a uh, excitatory neurotransmitter, but if there's too much glutamate, then it can overstimulate and cause uh, cellular death. So we're trying to better characterize what happens to the level of glutamate uh, before and during and after the spinal cord injury. The sensors are microfabricated, but it's not using typical MEMS fabrication technique. We're using rapid prototyping like 3D printing as well as laser micromachining. We want to be able to quickly change the design and fabricate the devices at low cost so that we can deliver to the scientists that want to use these devices. We created this custom conductive ink that consists of uh, conductive polymer, platinum nanoparticle, and multi-wall carbon nanotube so that we can have a high sensitivity glutamate biosensor that's uh, a lot faster and easier and cheaper to make. When you create biosensor, we calibrate the devices on the bench top. We test it on a beaker filled with PBS and we spike it with known concentration of analyte of interest and we create a calibration curve to understand how the sensor behaves and we expect the sensors to behave similarly in the body when we implant it into the spinal cord. Still very preliminary, but what we have found is that we are able to capture very fast transient response of glutamate as a function of the spinal cord injury. What we want to be able to do is identify biomarkers that can give us additional insights on how the body is changing even before you have any symptoms of a specific disease uh, like neurodegeneration or spinal cord injury or anything like that.